Minimum viable product or MVP is something you have probably heard of. But what exactly is it and how you can transform the way you build and launch products? Hello everyone, my name is Vatsal Jain and today in this video we will discuss about minimum viable product. So without spending much time, let's start now. MVP or minimum viable product is the most basic version of the product that contains only its core features which are necessary to satisfy the early users and gather valuable feedback for further development. For example, consider a person named Jack. Jack wants to build a universal air conditioner remote that can control any air conditioner. So Jack decided to do some market research and collaborated with this team to design the product. These were the features that were identified for the remote. The first is connect with any air conditioner. The second power on and off. The third is the temperature control. Fourth is a fan speed and so on. Now Jack wants to create the MVP of his product. What do you think he will do? Will he make the product that contains all these seven features? No, actually. Instead of launching the product with all of these features, which will take a lot of time and effort, Jack can focus only upon the core features which are important for the remote. For example, in this case, the most important features for the remote are is to connect the remote with any air conditioner. Number two is to turn on and off an air conditioner. And number three is to control the temperature of the air conditioner. Now Jack can launch his product with only these three features to his targeted audience and get the feedback from them. For example, in this case, the user can give the feedback regarding the design of the remote, the form of the remote, or what extra features they need in the remote. On the basis of these feedback, Jack can improve his product and get into mass production to launch his product successfully to a larger group of his targeted audience. Many people believe that MVP is a half-baked product that is not ready for the market. However, this is not the case. An MVP is a complete product with core set of features that solves a specific problem for a target customer. It is not perfect, but it is good enough to launch and get feedback from the user. Also, some people believe that it is better to launch a fully featured product than to waste time and resources in building an MVP. However, this is not a case. MVP can actually save time and resources in long run. By launching an MVP, companies can get the feedback from the user early and they can make the necessary changes to the product before investing time and money onto it. Now, the other thing that people usually think is that MVP is only for startups. But this is not the case. Companies of all these sizes can get the benefits of using an MVP approach to launch a new product. In fact, many large companies such as Google and Amazon use MVP approach to launch their new products and features. So in a nutshell, we can say minimum is the time, efforts and money you are spending. A viable product is the product with the core set of features which are needed to identify the problems related to your products and collect feedback, validate that product solves a real problem, assess the market demand for the product, and determine whether the customers are willing to pay for your product. So this is all about minimum viable product. This much for this video. Thanks for watching. If you find the video useful, if you like it, share it with your friends and colleagues. If you are into vehicle dynamics, you can check my playlist on that. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring.